prepared. Father, this evening once again we are here together as the body of Christ. One head, the Lord Jesus Christ. One spirit, your Holy Spirit. One faith that was once and for all given to the saints. Speak to us. Speak to us, Lord Jesus. Through your Spirit, speak to us. So that we know, Lord, what you want us to hear. What is your plan and your purpose for your church. Help us to be still in your presence. Keep our hearts and our minds and our ears focused on you alone. Speak to us, O Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. From right last time when I stopped, not you stopped, but I stopped, was in Genesis. 24. The bride for Isaac. The choosing of a bride for Isaac. The choosing of Sarah is not given in the Bible. When we see Abraham, you see Abraham with Sarah. Choosing of Rebecca is given in great detail. The choosing of the brides of Jacob is also very given in detail. These are given because these are times. When God prospers a man, he adds no trouble to it. Getting a wife, a good wife, is prosperity. Real, that's real prosperity. So when God chose a wife for Rebecca, he added no trouble into Isaac's life. When Jacob chose a wife for himself, there was a lot of trouble in his life. So all young unmarried people let God choose a spouse for you. I'm not saying there won't be trouble, but it will be trouble which you can manage. So we saw last time we met the choosing of Rebecca. Remember the burden was given to Abraham's servant. Next week probably when we come to the death of Abraham, before he dies we will see he has eight sons. Seven sons had the freedom to choose and marry whoever they wanted. One son did not have that choice. Though that son had that choice, he surrendered his choice into the hands of his father. And the father surrendered that choice and trusted his head servant. 
యొక్క విషయాన్ని తన యొక్క ప్రధాన దాసుడైనటువంటి మరి తనకు అపగించాడు సో ది బర్డెన్ ఆఫ్ చూసింగ్ అ బ్రైడ్ ఫర్ ఐసక్ ఈస్ అపాన్ ఏలియాస్ అయితే ఇషాక్ కు ఎంపిక చేసుకోవాల్సినటువంటి మరి వధువును ఆ యొక్క బాధ్యత ఏలియాజ్ పై మరి వాయ్ ఎందుకనగా బికాస్ ఐసక్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది అదర్ సన్ ఎందుకంటే ఇషాక్ మిగతా కుమారుల కంటే వేరుగా ఉన్నటువంటి వాడు అయినాడు ఐసక్ ఈస్ ద రిసల్ట్ ఆఫ్ అ ప్రామిస్ మరి ఇషాక్ మరి ఒక వాగ్దానమునకు మరి సాదృశ్యముగా ఉన్నాడేదా వాగ్దానమునకు ప్రతిఫలంగా దయచేసిన కుమారుడు ప్రామిస్ ఫ్రమ్ గాడ్ మరి దేవుడి దగ్గర నుంచి పొందుకున్నటువం్టి వాగ్దానం యొక్క ప్రతిఫలం ఫోర్ హిస్ బ్రైట్ కె నాట్ బి చూస్ లైక్ ది అదర్స్ చూస్ కావున తను పొందుకుంటున్నటువంటి ఆ యొక్క వదులుని ఇతరులు అని ఆయన ఎంపిక చేసుకునలేడు వి ఆర్ బోర్న్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రామిస్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ మనము దేవుడి దగ్గర నుంచి వాగ్దానం చే జన్మించబడిన వారు అండ్ నాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లెష్ మరి శరీరాన్ని సరంగా కాదు దెన్ వి ఆల్సో సరెండర్ అవర్ చాయిసెస్ ఇన్ టు ది హ్యాండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద హోలీ స్పిరిట్ కావున మన యొక్క అవకాశం లేదా నిర్ణయాలు కూడా మనము దేవుడి తాతలు పశుతాత దేవుడి daily surrender our choices to the hands of the head servant the head the third person of the trinity the the eliezer of god the holy spirit so that he makes the choices for us mai anudinamu kuda manamu aayaka nirnayalu ledha avakashalu anni kuda parshuddhaatma devuniki appadinchuchunnamu thanu man kosamu aayaka nirnayalu teeskunnaraguna if you think after you enter into the kingdom i can make whatever choices i want god says fine you are also a child of elijah oela dinni ka rajyamani praveshinchina tarvata na avakasam nenu empiku cheskuna cheskuntanu anukunnatlayite devudu chudu parvaledu anantaru he says you don't understand the purpose endukante uddeshamnu manam artham cheskunnam kaadu purpose is this uddesham enaga in second corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2 vedha korithe ka spati modata vadha pani rendu vachanalu gamniste can we have this lights off i think it's dimming the screen yeah second corinthians 11 2 oh patru adhyayam vandu vachu rendu korinthi yeva shikha vedala aashikku vennanu endukaga pavithrula kanikatu okade prashni garaga kristuk samarpya padana nimma pradanam chestunnaru for i am jealous for you with a godly jealousy for i have betrothed you to one husband that i may present you as a chaste virgin to christ you getting it this is apostle paul saying it is paul saying this to the church there is this church and the church is all they full of people my salon of prathu nidhi nadi but he says when i finally want to present you to christ i tell you christ me will submit this is the purpose of my ministry and there na purchase your purpose with the nadi not just get people into the church my brother and the sangat lo nichi not get people just into the kingdom my either rajyamani church lo mane when the work of the holy spirit is finished in you prashtatma devi ka karyani ento mugichabadina he should be able to present at least some of you as a chaste virgin to christ mari meelo mari kanisam kondarnana kondar kuda kondarnana mari christu ku mari samarpinchavalani ani oke oka kushini pradanam cheyalanatundi kanikaga samarpinchukovalani ani i koorutunnadu out of those multitudes who will come to christ everybody doesn't become the bride mari aa yokka jana samuham evaraithe ye christu yedu cheyutunnatundi aa sankhya lo prathyekulu kuda aa pelli kumarthu kaaleru purpose of the ministry is not just getting people into the kingdom but how do those people to prepare a bride for christ mai aa yokka parichari ku uddeshamu kevalam padanam devika rajyamlo cheyachadam eka maatrame kaadu kaani aa yokka parichari dwara mari devudiki oka vadhuni sutha parichadamu that's our struggle adi mane ko samasya indadi that's our personal struggles vyaktigatha nama neeku samadhi that's our struggle in the ministry too parichari lo kuda adi mane ko samayi indadi ask any of the sisters mari kuda sahodaru evaru nadu nadi how many of them go like going they like going they like the result but they don't actually like sitting in the beauty parlor for 6 hours with all those things on their face mari sahodaru gamnishu ante mari aa yokka prathifalam variki ishtame kaani aaru gantulu paatu aa yokka beauty parlor lo kuchoni aa yokka vishayalanti aa vasthulanti vaaru kuchoni kuchoni ishtam undadu they like the result vaaki ishtame da ani yokka prathifalam ishtame as the sisters all those who have curly hair if you want to straighten your hair it is like 8 hours mari kada unnatundi sahodaru vaaki aa yokka ఒకవేళ 
ఎవ్రీబడి వాంట్స్ టు బి ది బ్రైడ్ ఆఫ్ క్రైస్ట్ మరి అందరూ కూడా క్రీస్ట్ యొక్క విధు వధువు కావాలని కోరుతున్న వారే but that process is very painful and it requires lot of patience aithe aa yokka prakriya anedi chaala baadhakaramaina tarvata mari chaala opika tho kodina tanti design ayi so elias has found the bride kaun elias ari ipudu aa yokka pelli kodina and in genesis 24 and verse 54 he says send me away mari aa yokka adhikaranam 24 adhyayam 54 yeah 24 24 adhyayam 54 verse 54 he said 54 right 56 he said don't hinder me away since the lord has prospered my way sent me away so that i may go to my master but with her family say in verse 55 let the young woman stay with us a few days at least then after that she may go my lord could be through master ego ichina dani Are you getting the picture? In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 22 Paul also says the same thing. If any Now you will say, all of us will say, but I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Paul says the fact that you love Jesus as the bride of Jesus is sin. What is the cry of your heart? Oh Lord, come. మరి ఆ యొక్క మరి ప్రభువుని ప్రేమిస్తున్నటువంటి వాడి దాన్ని హృదయ అని కేకలవేయించున్నారు దయచేసి అని కోరడమా or some people lord i am old every joint is aching please come neda vruddulu vale mari kodu mandi vruddulu vale idu ayya na yokka prathi yemuga prathi chodu kuda baaga nokulu ga undadi dayasi swaraga tiri gamani korudama none of this is true idu edi kuda satyam ayya he says if you really love the lord jesus ovela ni yesu christ ani premisthuna varaithe what will you say nee em antaru lord come mari prabhu arammu ani what will the world say mari lokam em antundi let the girl tarry mari ayyoga sri ramulu leda vadhu raavadamlo mari I am the 10 days what is the hurry Ego padmatulu tamari aarishinchada tondra paade undi After all he waited 40 years right mari nambe samasalu lechunadu kada aina he can't wait 10 more days Ego padmatulu lechunadu kada 40 years nambe samasalu each year is a jubilee prathi samasalu kuda ga jundi ga unnadi 40 into 50 is 2000 years mari ga nambe 40 into adi dani yaave ni manamu multiply chesina 2000 samasalu he waited 2000 years what's the hurry 2000 samasalu lechunadu kuda tondra paade undi the bride doesn't say that So they ask, let us ask the bride. What is the bride say? I'll go. I'll go. God says, do we also say the same thing? I'm ready to go. True church Rebecca will always say come Lord Jesus. మరి నిజమైనటువంటి సంగము మరి వెక్క ఎప్పుడు కూడా రన్ రమ్ము ప్రభువ రమ్ము అని తెలుస్తుంది ఎదు చూస్తుంది. So why are we studying the choosing of Rebecca? అయితే రెక్కను ఎంపిక చేసుకోవడము అన్న దానిని ఎందుకు మనం ధ్యానిస్తున్నాం? Because the choosing of Rebecca is the symbolic of the choosing of the bride of Christ. ఎందుకంటే ఆ రెక్కను ఎంపిక చేసుకున్న విధానమే గమనించుకుంటే క్రీస్తు కోసం వదూని ఎంపిక చేసుకున్న విధానమే ఉన్నది. In Revelation 21 verse 2 and then verse is 9 and 10 talks about the bride mari prakar gandham 29 lo 21 lo adhyayamo reda vachanamo tarata 9 10 vachanamlu aa yokka apelik maatra gurinchi leda vadulu gurinchi maatladchunnadi mariyu nenu rodana vishayamanu avashyata padanamu tana bhartakaru alakara kudane pedik maatra siddha padi mara lokamunna devayathunde divoshta sidhi now this is in the spirit mari ee aatmalo Because you remember John is in the spirit. So is, is this a physical city or is this is about your believers? So he says, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. 
prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So if you come to the end of it, you know, verse 9 and 10, it. come I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of the heaven from God. So the question there is in Revelation verse uh, 21 verse 2 we saw I saw this city prepared as a bride adorned for a husband. The question is how does the Holy Spirit prepare the bride? How does a king choose his bride? How does the king choose? All right. So in the portion we saw in 2 Corinthians 11 2, Paul talks about presenting the church as a chaste, undefiled virgin. But even an undefiled virgin, before she could present it to the king, she had to go through a process of preparation. It is shown in the choosing of another bride in another book in the Bible. It is shown in the book of Esther. Now there is a king. His name is Ahasuerus. He had a queen. The queen's name is Vasti. One day the king summoned the queen and said, display your beauty before my courtiers. And she refused to obey the king's command. In Isaiah 54 verse 5, Oh no, no, not 65. 54 was 5. I said 54. Here God says, tells Israel, I am your husband. Jeremiah 31 verse 32. Not according to the covenant that I made with thy fathers in the day that I took them by hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord. Jeremiah 3 verse 14. Let me give you three verses. Return, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married to you. I will take you, one from a city, two from a family, I will bring you to Zion. Our God is also a king. He also had a wife. Her name was Israel. Israel's choice was to display her beauty to the kings of this world. Israel was told, you will show to the rest of the world the beauty of my holiness. Israel refused. 
Israel refused to obey the voice of her king. I like Vashti was rejected because she refused to obey the voice of her king. God also rejected Israel because she refused to obey his voice. And the search for a new bride begins. Now go to Esther chapter 2. The search for the new bride for the king. Verses 1 and 2. After these things in the wrath of King Ahasuerus subsided, he remembered Vasti, which she had done, what she had done and what had been decreed against her. Then the king's servants who attended him said, let beautiful young virgins be sought for the king. And can we have verse 3 also? Okay, and let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom that they may gather all the beautiful young virgins to Sushan the citadel into the women's quarters under the custody of Hegai the king's eunuch, custodian of the women, and let beauty preparations be given to them. <laughs> For a long time, King Ahasuerus was mad. You will see in verse 1. Then his anger subsided. When a man is angry, what does he do? He doesn't speak. For 400 years, God did not speak to Israel. He did not speak. Between Malachi and Matthew chapter 1, there is 400 years of silence. Then when the anger subsided, search for the bride begins. They said what? Three things. Let fair or beautiful, young, Virgins be sought out. And let a search be made all around the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 22 verse 9 and 10. Therefore go into the highways and as many as you find invite to the wedding so those Servants went out into the highways and gathered together all whom they found, both bad and good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. Read carefully. The wedding hall was filled with what? Guess. 22 to 14. 22 verse 14. Many are called. Few are chosen. Fair young virgins were called from all over the country, but one was going to be chosen. In the new covenant, the king said from every highway, byway, city, town, village, every nation, every culture, every race, every language, call them all. And bring them all under the care of Hegai, the chief eunuch. Hey, 
everybody who comes into the church is brought under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Hegai is a type, like Eliezer is a type of the Holy Spirit. And what does it say? All who have been brought, what should begin? Let the beauty treatments begin. Let it begin. Does it say verse 3? Let beauty preparations be given them. Everybody who is brought into the house of God within the kingdom of God, the Holy Spirit lays, let the work of sanctification begin. We like justification. In one instant you are declared guilt free. Looking forward to glorification. In a twinkling of eye we will be made perfect. In between justification to glorification there is this long road called sanctification. When each of the virgins were picked up, everybody had this hope. I will replace Queen Vashti. In one day they were picked. In another day it will be chosen. In between is the beauty preparation. After the preparation, will the king pick you or not? In words, let the young woman who pleases the king be queen instead of Varsti. This thing pleased the king and he did so. Verse 4. Whoever pleases the king. What does our king say? Without faith it is impossible to please our king. Sight doesn't please our God. God says if you want to please my son, you have to walk by faith. And verse 5 says, in Sushan the citadel there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai. Who was there? An identity is given. There was a Jew. And his name was Mordecai. Who is the Jew? Romans 2 verses 28 and 29. For he is not a Jew who is one outwardly, nor is circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew who is one inwardly, and the circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, not in the letter, whose praise is not from men, but from God. New Testament language, in the church, there was a man whose circumcision was of the spirit. Verse 7 will say, Verse 7 will say, Mordecai had brought up Esther, her name is Hadassah, Esther, for she had neither father nor mother. In Hebrews 7 3. 
When we are born and actually become a true priest under Christ, we are without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of time, but made like the Son of God. Does that mean we don't have a father and a mother? Jesus explains this in Matthew 10 and verse 37. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Did you get it? In compared to your love for Christ, your love for your father and mother or anybody else is irrelevant. Yet you are a person who is under the authority, spiritual authority of someone called Mordecai whose circumcision is of the spirit. When you were saved, you were brought into the church, into the kingdom of God. And you realize in the church there is a leadership that is after the heart of Mordecai who watches over you. And scripture will say about Esther, she was fair, she was young, she was a virgin. And verse 8 will say, all these young women from different parts were brought to Susa. Anyone who hopes to become the bride of Christ, there has to be a separation from the world. A separation where there is proximity to the king. All the women who came were fair, young and virgin. And they were all brought there. And if you look, if I am right, verse 9. Now the young woman pleased him and she obtained his favor. Hegai, the eunuch, was pleased by Esther. The question is, do we catch the Holy Spirit's eye? Is he pleased with us? Outwardly they all look the same. Outwardly now we sitting in the church also we all look the same. But the question is, have we, have we caught the eye of the Holy Spirit? That's what scripture says, don't grieve him, don't quench him. Because it matters. It matters. Seven choice maid servants were provided for her from the king's palace. Seven maid servants from the king's palace. Do you remember the parable of the bridesmaid? Do you remember? So there is a bride, there are bridesmaids, there are guests, and they are all there in the king's palace. So what do you want to be? Want to be the bride? Do you want to be a bridesmaid? Or do you just want to go for the khana? What do you want to be? God says you can choose. 
You can choose. Entry into the kingdom is free because the price was paid by somebody else. Taking your place behind, beside the king, you have to overcome all. Those who are this seven door doesn't matter, they just want the name of Christ. They are not interested in the bride's position. They said, we just don't want the reproach. We just want your name. Isaiah 4 and verse 1. In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own food, wear our own apparel, only let us be called by your name. To take away our reproach. We just want your name. Just want your name. We will eat our own bread. We will eat wear our own apparel. We don't need your bread. We don't need your righteousness. Just give us your name. So that when I go out in the world, I have this legal sanction, I have a husband. Does it sound like lots of Christians who maybe once a week come to church? Or those who come for Good Friday, Easter and Christmas. A lot of people, because you know in all the big churches they put Shamianas up. If I am their pastor, I will not do that. I will actually tell the faithful ones, you come early, take your seats and ask for rain. I don't understand why do you put up shamianas for people who are not interested in God at all. If you won't come 52 Sundays and you will come three times a year, you make all these arrangements for them. These are the ones who says we want our own bread, we will make our own righteousness, just give us your name. We just want a title. God says, I don't give titles. Remember, he says to them, you will end up one day serving the bride. You won't even serve me, you will serve my bride. So seven bridesmaids were given to Esther. What were their job? Their job was to help in the preparation of making Esther beautiful. God has given these seven people perfect number in all our life. Those are the ones who make us spiritually beautiful. I told once in my church, God says, pick up your cross daily and follow me. Mr. Hammer and Mrs. Nails will be provided free. They are the ones who hammer you every day with slander, with gossip, with lies, with deceit and you are being purified inside by patience, perseverance, kindness and meekness. Nobody is automatically born meek and humble. 
you have to become meek and humble under the testing of fire. So seven people have been interested in the job of making Esther beautiful. And God has also interested people in your lives to make you beautiful. In verse 10, scripture says, Esther had not revealed her people or family for Mordecai had charged her not to reveal it. What did Esther do? Esther never revealed who she was. Look at Romans chapter 8 and verse 19. This is the bride of Christ. Does anybody know? Does anybody know who is the bride of Christ? All creation is eagerly waiting for the bride of Christ to be revealed. Like Esther's lineage was hidden, the bride of Christ is also hidden in this mass called the church. Only the Holy Spirit knows. Only the Holy Spirit knows who Jesus will like. Only Hegai knows whom Ahasuerus, what kind of girl does Ahasuerus like? In verse 11, you will see Mordecai is a type of the spiritual mentor. Verse 11, yeah. Every day Mordecai paced in front of the court of the women's quarters to learn of Esther's welfare and what was happening to her. This is the heart but Apostle Paul reveals watching over the flock so that he can present the church as a pure, chaste virgin. In verse 12, the scripture will say, it was 12 months of preparation. There is a time of preparation. 12 months of preparation. 6 months with the oil of myrrh, 6 months with perfumes and preparations for beautifying women. Myrrh. That's verse 12. Six months with myrrh. Six months with sweet, sweet smelling aroma odors. And all who come and please King Jesus will have to come through this preparation. In the Bible, myrrh is a symbol of suffering. Everyone who becomes a part of the bride of Jesus Christ would have come purified through suffering. Second Timothy chapter 2, 12. If we endure, we shall reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. We have to come through these trials and testing. Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. Acts 
strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, saying, we must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Romans 8.17 I have to give you all these references because today's gospel is no suffering gospel. If we, yeah, yes, if children then heirs, heirs of God, joined heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, we also may be glorified together. Who are we? Joined heirs? Now who is the joined heir with the husband? The wife. The wife is a joined heir with the husband. The wife has equal rights over the property of the husband. How? If we suffer with him, we also may be glorified with him. First Peter chapter 4 verse 13. But rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings that when his glory is revealed you also may be glad with exceeding joy. Now, is that what you hear? That's not what you hear. Actually, they teach you now in the churches that if you are actually going through suffering, that means you are outside the will of God. Name it, claim it, have it, no suffering. But scripture says God has ordained a season of suffering for his children so they come purified through it. It is not that suffering will purify you, how you react in suffering will show whether you will come out refined or not. In English we say suffering can either make you bitter or better. Two people can go through the same situation and come out different. Two widows can come through the same situation and one will say, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara because I am bitter in the soul. The other will be Ruth over whom the kinsman redeemer's eyes fall. Both are widows. Both have lost their husband. Both have been struck by poverty. Both have lost everything. Both have come through suffering. One becomes bitter. The other becomes better. The one who becomes better is the one who is redeemed and becomes the bride. Not the one who becomes bitter. Remember, Boaz is an old man. He is not a young man. If Naomi had not been bitter, he would have redeemed Naomi. The Spirit of God said, she cannot be redeemed. Redeemed is more by God. Whatever you go through, don't become bitter. Only Mallus like me, like Karina. 
మోస్ట్ పీపుల్ దే విల్ పుష్ ఇట్ అవే మరి నావల్టి మరి మల్లులు మాత్రమే ఆ యొక్క కాకరకాయ ఇష్టపడతారు అనేక దాని మరి ఏమంటారు దాని నీటి వేస్తారు తిరస్కరిస్తారు మోస్ట్ పీపుల్ డోంట్ లైక్ బిట్ అవ్ మరి అనేక లు ఆ యొక్క ఆ చేతనే వెళ్ళి ఇష్టపడరు Jesus is not coming for a bitter bride. My Jesus to go to a my chedu anik kosam ra gadu kosam raadu ledu. Jesus is coming for a better bride. My I know inga shreshthamaina tondi magu kosamadanni a manchu unnatunda ayaku kai kosam raabutundi. This no suffering message has really weakened the church. My inga lo ayaka shrama shrama anetundi ayaka bodulu leda vartamanam anni kuda sangamu inga lo balahinuga chestunnayi. So when trials come testing come persecution and come people just fall away mari parichalu shramalu tarvata aa ivalu osuna parichitu vartuna tundi parisuthulu osunappudu prajalu tarigi potuna tappipotunnaru look at mark chapter 4 verses 5 and 6 mark swarta 4 4 adhyayamu 5 6 vachana gamichandi some fell on stony ground where it did not have much earth and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth but when the sun was up it was scorched because it had no root it withered away konni chala manale lokale padinu appudu tha man lothi bavunda satana avu vetine bolchina gaani sridu odiyapo gaani avu kuda veerina nilu poyinu when the sun came up my suryudu sabudhi sabudhi the temperature went down మరి ఆ యొక్క ఉష్ణోగ్రత ఎక్కువ అయింది మెన్ ట్రబుల్ స్టార్టెడ్ మరి సమస్యలు ఆర్మీ ఆర్మైనప్పుడు దే ఆర్ విథౌట్ అవే మరి అందరూ కూడా తప్పిపోయారు తొలిపోయారు ఐ డోంట్ బ్లేమ్ ది పీపుల్ సో మచ్ అయితే ప్రజలను నేను అంతగా తప్పు కొట్టను కానీ ఇఫ్ వి ఆర్ ఆనెస్ట్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీచింగ్ యాజ్ జీసస్ వాస్ యేసు ప్రభువు ఆయన బోధించినటువంటి విధానంలో ఎంత యదార్థముగా బోధించాడో జీసస్ నెవర్ గేవ్ ది పీపుల్ ఫాల్స్ ప్రామిస్ మరి యేసు ప్రభువు ఎప్పుడు కూడా తప్పుడు మరి ప్రామిసెస్ ఆయన వాగ్దానాలను ప్రజలకు చేయలేదు వెన్ Jesus preached he was very clear anyone who wishes to follow me will have to leave everything I guess to our swastika chakrata nando mari sevichu kodutunna vaari evaraina kuda thanu pondukuna samasthanu vichchukata vachukuntundi ani not even his disciples who left everything he even looked at them finally and said if you want to go you also can go mari shishyulu kuda kaadu samasthanu vichchukata ani revolutionary shishyulu kuda chusanadu meer velalanu kodutunnatlaite meer kuda velavachu annanadu that's not how the gospel is preached ayyo ee roju lo bodhisthunna swartha thodi idi kaadu ayya come ayya ani jesus will heal you jesus will dress you jesus will carry you you can be anything you want he will never leave you right no randi ni ko mari jesus prabhu swastha prakaram ni manchi vastralu daichestani nechukuntadi teeskeltaru nee eppudu kuda vichchukuntadi jesus prabhu antaru first sign of trouble they leave mari motta motti samasya raagane evaru vichchukuntadi velipothadu what do they say mari antaru i don't want this jesus yes na potu ananta you you blame them or you blame the preacher mari aayaku bodhukuni meeru takku vartaru lekapothe aayaka asanasulu takku vartaru jesus never preached that The apostles did not preach that. Apostles did not preach that. On the first day when Peter preached, I said, "What is this? You know, Peter, God is not with you." You know what Scripture writes in the Book of Acts? My apostles are going to walk in the service today. This Jesus, whom you crucified, the Lord has made both God and Savior. Lord and Savior. They were cut to the heart. They asked, "What should we do?" I said, "Meet us in the service today." He has. యేసుని మరి ఆ తండ్రి ప్రభు గారు రక్షకుడు గారు నియమించున్నారు మరి వారందరూ కూడా వారి దిగమున నొచ్చుకొని రక్షకుడు మీరు ఏమి చేయాలని కేకలు వేశారు ఇస్ రిపెంట్ బిలీవ్ అండ్ బి బాప్టైజ్ మరి పశ్చాత్త పొరడి మార్మల్ స్పందుడి బాప్తిస్మం తీసుకొని అన్నారు దెన్ స్క్రిప్చర్ సేస్ విత్ మెనీ మోర్ వర్డ్స్ హి ఎక్సార్టెడ్ దెమ్ మెన్ ఎంకరేజ్ దెమ్ టు సేవ్ దెమ్ సెల్ఫ్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ కరప్ జర్నీ మరి ఒక ప్రశ్నమే సాంటిఫికేషన్ ద ప్యూరిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రైట్ కమ్స్ జస్టిఫికేషన్ ఆర్ రాప్చర్ అందరూ కూడా మరి ఈ యొక్క నీతి మంత్రిగా తీర్చుకోవడం లేదా ఎత్తుకోవడం అనే దాని గురించి మాట్లాడుతుంది వారు పవిత్రపరచబడడం అన్న దాని గురించి మాత్రం Why? Because without sanctification, there is no rapture, there is only capture. Mari, Mari, Pavitra Pancha Manada Mukko, Lekunda, Mari, Aya Toh, Ethuko, 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 Bible is consistently clear about this. Mari, Bible is consistently clear about this. Abraham, you will see next week, Abraham died full 
full of years and was gathered to his fathers. Lord who refused to be sanctified though he was justified came through the fire and lost everything. The children of Israel who came out of Egypt who refused to be sanctified in the desert, every one of them died in the desert. They did not enter into the promised land. The Bible is consistent about this. Salvation is one thing. Choosing of the bride is something else. Salvation is one thing. Inheriting is something else. In the same chapter which talks about the bride of Christ, look at what Revelation 21 verse 7 says. He who overcomes shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son. He who overcomes. Stage by stage by stage he is taking us through the process that we keep on overcoming and moving on to higher and higher ground with him. And each time when you come to Christ and overcome your past is wiped away, your record is clean. And you presented fresh every day to Christ as chased as a virgin. Because spiritually nobody came to Christ as young, fair and chased. Spiritually nobody came like that. We all came from the world. And even after that we fell. Question is, are we moving in the road of sanctification? That's what God is talking about. And suffering is a way God refines His people. And Esther has to go through six months of the oil of mud. Six is a number of men. Whatever season is destined for you to make you perfect, God will say that I will demand from you. There was another six months of preparation. This is sweet smelling orders. Six months. You need to realize what this actually actually practically means. Now what happens? You have to go out, you open the cover and you go out. <laughs> this six months of treatment is over, you don't need any perfume, nothing. Wherever you go, you smell good. It becomes part of your body, your hair, everything. Smelling good. Why? Because you are going to the king. You are not going before any ordinary man. In Old Testament there were two kinds of offerings. Blood offerings and meal offerings. Only blood offerings were considered to have a sweet smelling order for God. I am right, it is there in Exodus 29 and verse 18. There are many references, but one we will learn. Yes. 
and you shall offer shall burn the whole ram on the altar it's a burnt offering to the lord it is a sweet aroma an offering made by fire to the lord all the old testament offerings were types of something that has to happen in the new covenant i did paatha nilana to balani kuda me gavanichade ante kotta nibandhalo jaragavochunatundi aa priyaku sadrushyamaga unnavi in ephesians 5:2 we will see our bridegroom walk that way the bride also has to walk that way i did manam ephesians lo gavanichade ante aiga vartha yamma rendu vachana gavanichade ante mari pelli kumaru nachina vidhanam adaithe pelli kumaru kuda nalu vachana vidhanam adaiyali christu nimma prayichi parunnu vasana undaku walk in love as christ also has loved us and given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to god for a sweet smelling aroma and you say yeah i am also walking in love is there anybody who will say here I'm, i don't love but how is christ love different from our love i think christ ko prema mana prema kochunnadu ide ga ela untundi how come christ love was the sweet smelling aroma to the father mari christ yokka prema elaga thandi ki mari oka mari oka parimala arpana ga adi undi undani what did jesus says when is your love perfect He says your love is perfect like the love of the Father when you are able to love your enemies like the Father does. In our language, did you know what Jesus said? If you love those who love you, what's the big thing? Even the thieves, the robbers, they all do that. రైట్ అండ్ that was what opened the eyes of one thing i believe he heard jesus say father forgive them they don't know what they are doing mari ayaka donga kandi mire ni cheyichunaru mire ellu gar kavi kshemichvali ayana palagalu vinademo and he knew if a man at this point of pain and death because he is going through the same point and can still think about his enemies who put him up there and pray for them i don't know this yoga vyakti mari maranchipothunnadu mari aina entu garu gaayapadchadu ee dogga kuda dani aa paristhiti anubhavisthunnadu atuvanti vyakti evarneite aa yoga sarupaina ikkicharo vaaki chuchi dani varu emi cheyichunaru varu chemichmani koragalutunnadante atuvanti prema gurinchi aina kuda koruthunnadu so you know what it actually means practically i think clear upanga dani arthame managa as you grow closer to god nee devuniki samhithuluga avutundaga and as god spirit starts changing you mari devuniki aatmaneyo maarustundaga god will allow you to have more and more and more enemies in your life don't think you are going to get more and more friends more and more enemies mari you ikka ekku snehitulu podukuntavu ankokoddu nen shatrulu podukuntavu see whether you can love them nee vaati prerichukalu kava leda ani chustaku when that happens remember you have been marked out to become the bride adi jarigina podu gamaninchani nu vaduga yepika cheyabadtapu losakam avunattu don't let the devil fool you from your inheritance i think you then your love for your enemies your life your walk is a sweet smelling aroma in my nostrils apulu yeka yeka nalaka yeka chaturu padnu kalinachu prema parimala vasunaga aina aina gurtu aina kuntundi god does it with everybody even in the old or the new mari devudu pratyogartu chestaru paatha nadana kaaya nadu kuntundi kada lo kaaya vandi you know what god told about david i said david gurinchi devudu chelvichadante and after my own heart after yaru saru anadu 
For ten years the king is after his life. Many occasions he has to kill that king. That is his enemy. He refuses to lift his hand against his enemy. He says, I will not do it. One day the king and he is alone in the cave. And to show, prove it to the king, he cut an edge of his robe. And he's so shaken, not because he touched his enemy, but he touched and cut a part of the robe, he's so shaken. Even Saul finally agrees, David, truly you are righteous. When Saul dies, the fellow who comes with the news thought he will get a big tofa. David wept and cried. Do you know why he wept and cried? Not because his enemy died. But because he knew his enemy died and did not make it to heaven. He did not cry when his son died. He said he will not come back to me but I will go to him. But he knew his king had gone to hell. That is why God says, and I pray, you have a vision of hell that you will not even wish your worst enemy to go there. There is no escape from there. There is no escape from there. That is why God says, if your love has to be perfect, pray for your enemies. Bless your enemies. I know my wife, when we pray, she never forgets a day to forget for those who are hands are against us. Often we forget to pray for friends, but we never forget to pray for enemies. You don't want them going there. Because that is what separation from God is. So God says in Romans 12 verse 1. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable to God. Offer it. Let that, when the Holy Spirit falls upon it, let the aroma that rises be pleasing in God's sight. In Second Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 15, For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. How? If you are walking in that love of Christ, God says your life is a sweet smelling aroma in my nostrils. That's why John the Baptist said, the one who comes after me. I'm not worthy even to untie the thongs of your hands. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. If you offer yourself as a sacrifice, I guarantee you the fire will fall. The fire of God never falls on empty altars. 
దేవుని యొక్క అగ్ని మరి ఖాళీ ఉన్నటువంటి బలిపించకపోయినా ఎప్పుడు కూడా వెళ్ళదు ఇఫ్ ది ఫైర్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ హస్ ఇన్ ఫాలన్ అపాన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ ఇట్స్ బికాస్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఆన్ ది ఆల్టర్ మరి ఈ దేవుని యొక్క అగ్ని దీనిపైన కుమరించబడలేదా అంటే నీవు బలిపించకపోయినా నువ్వు ఏం కాబట్టి సమర్పించుకోలేదు కాబట్టి ఎవరీ టైం ఇన్ ది స్క్రిప్చర్ వెన్ ది ఫైర్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఫెల్ దేర్ వాస్ సంథింగ్ ఆన్ ది ఆల్టర్ ఈ సారి కూడా ఆ యొక్క వాక్ ఇంట్లో బలిపించకపోయినా అగ్ని బలిపించకపోయినా పెట్టినప్పుడు మరి బలిపించకపోయినా అగ్ని పడింది డోంట్ జస్ట్ ఆస్ లార్డ్ లెట్ యు ఫైర్ ఫాల్ మరి కేవలం అయ్యా నీ యొక్క అగ్ని పడుంగా have the boldness to offer yourself as a living sacrifice and then say lord let your fire fall you sajiva yagamga samma pichukune dairinu kai yodi appudu prarthana cheyi appudu aadi kumarichapadutundi one more thing she could do ikoka vishayamu ame cheyindi the day she was supposed to go to the king i the raju yaduku velavalsinatundi aadinuna everyone who was there in the harem each one had to go to the king one day mari akadunna twadi empi ga chebane twadi var andarlo kuda mari kaam chesina kuda vaaru rajya edu veli thana thamu samarpinchukoni thana pochavachina twadi ga undi and if the king is pleased with you aithe oka vela aa yaka raju ni then only you become the queen apude nee raani avu but the the day which is your day aithe nee dinamaina dinamuna in verse 13 mari 11th vachanamlo esther grandamu rendu vadhyam 11th vachanamlo gamanichinchindi scripture will say you are allowed to pick anything from the king's palace to make you beautiful mari ame aika raju ko kotalo nunchi ye vastuna neenu ata saudharyamga agapadutaku ikkadi vastunnaa darichukoni teesukoledu meeku avakasam ivvadu in the woman's quarters you could pick you, your it was your choice aithe aika stree lo unnatundi aika stalam lo nu edi aa image kola darichukovalo nu empika cheskonavachu adi neenu thousands and thousands of dresses perfumes cosmetics everything is that you can choose mai veda ni veda ni vastram unnai sugandha dravyam unnai mai avanni ni meeku ishtamachu nu empika cheskonavachu can you imagine nunchi velutara poor ladies mai yo stree lo we really struggle with choice endukante aa empika cheskona vishayamlo mari stree lo sambandhuntaru you know how ladies they open their wardrobe and say i have nothing to wear mari aa yokka stree lo vaalika aa yokka almarlu teluskuntaru aa yokka vistharamaina vastra chusina the man stands behind them wonders what is all this ask a man he doesn't even look he opens picks the first thing and he goes pushin me right now let aya dani chudal kodtunna telustha dalvar pai unnatundi dasulu dalichukoni ipothadu they could pick whatever they want why is tham sam edu varu ipiki cheskona vachu could pick whatever they want ishtam vachu varu ipiki cheskochu every woman who had to go to the king picked up their clothes whatever they want they picked and they went before they aa yokka raju yaduku velavachina varu andru kuda mari asri andru velayaru chucharu vaaki ishtam vachu varu dalichukoni varu velutunnaru and they came back now when it comes to esther i esther vishayam vachina patti verse 15 Now when the turn came for Esther daughter of Abiel uncle of Mordecai who had taken her as his daughter to go into the king she requested nothing but Hegai the king Suno the custodian of the women advised What the king for command to speak in the tell them they now Abi hai ko mate beste raj mein bande ko bolta hai aur stream ko kai raj ko shampu lena hege dimension alankaram ka kaam kar ye bhi kar le do when it was her turn mari aame vachu chapudu she was smart aame chaala tirivathulaga i don't know the king naaku raju telidu i never seen the king aa raju ne chudu i don't know what he likes mari aa ishtamaina endo the whole idea is the king should like me aithe ikkada unnatu division but i don't know what his likes and dislikes are aithe aane ishtamo ishtamo kaani naaku telidu there's one here who knows what the king likes and what the king doesn't like aithe aa raju ki em ishtamo em ishtam ledo oka vyakti naaku emina vaallu that is like guy mari aane de hege so she told the guy aithe hege to whatever you pick for me is fine neevu edi nirnayisthe nenu adi tanchukone nenu do you know your king nee raju nu velina vaallu you don't know your king nee raju nu velina vaallu the one who the king is the holy spirit nee raju velina vaallu parshudarthu devu velina do you ask the holy spirit tell me what is that my king likes i the parshudarthu velina vaallu thuna na raju na ye ishtam padutunnadu you may think i think jesus likes this i the maru anukunna mai ishtam ki i think jesus like this yes prabhu ki ishtam devu maru anukunta jesus himself says i will send somebody like me the holy spirit when he comes he will not speak about himself he will speak about me yes prabhu anna navati oka nenu pompistanu aage edo vachuru kana thaku ichcharu kana navu ichchanu maatladtaru six months of oil of myrrh my aaru nellu asudanta thavyamlo six months of sweet order my aaru nellu aayuka parana thayyamlo thoti yet more than that listening to the voice of the holy spirit i know vachu thaku devu ikka swaramlu venadamu 
Esther listened to Haggai's voice. And what did Haggai say? Haggai said, this is what you heard. In Revelation 19 verse 8, it talks about the bride of Jesus Christ. To her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. What was given to her? A garment was given. This garment was made of so many pieces. Each piece was a righteous act. It's a righteous act that came by faith. Faith comes from hearing. Hearing the voice of God. That's what Jesus says. All those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit says. I have my good deeds and your good deeds and there are the God's good deeds. Can you imagine if you end up in heaven and you find your garment is not finished? Because only five patches has been sent. But Lord, I did so much. God said, you did so much. Those are your works. Those are not my works. I told you in Ephesians 2.10 the works which I appointed for you to do. These are the acts of the saints. You hear, you obey. You hear, you obey. You hear, you obey. You are making your bridal garment. You don't, we don't realize, all of us, without realizing, every day is stitching our own bridal garments. We have stitching. That's what scripture says. Those were the righteous acts of the saints. But scripture also says from the beginning till the end in Romans 1, it is a righteousness that comes by faith and faith alone. And the origin of faith is from hearing from God. Only Hegai knew the heart of Azarus. And only the Holy Spirit knows the heart of Jesus. And the king delighted in Esther because Esther first delighted the heart of Hegai. Our Christ will delight in us one day if we delight his spirit now. So the father and the son never tells us now, don't grieve the father, don't grieve the son. He says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. We have to delight the king. We have to delight him like Esther did. A fair, a young, chaste virgin was presented to the king. First period, chapter 3, verse 3 and 4. This is both for man and women, okay? When we finish our race, 
to be the bride of Christ, God says, if you have to be beautiful, you need to have a gentle and a quiet spirit. That's what the king likes. A meek and a quiet spirit. Why? Because the bridegroom himself is meek and lowly. But the bridegroom also wants a young wife. What will I do by this year? I will be 50 years old. We are all growing older, not young. And the king wants a young bride. 2 Corinthians 4.16 Though we, therefore we do not lose heart. Old men like me do not lose heart. Why or how? Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Though outwardly we are growing old, if you are walking with Christ, inwardly you are growing young each day. It doesn't matter how old you become outwardly. Spiritually, if you are growing, you become stronger and stronger and stronger. That's the story of Jacob. When he was finally very old, he has the ability to tell his sons, even though he's blessed blind, don't listen to me. I can see with my eyes. My spiritual eyes what you cannot see. In my old days my vision is sharp. My spiritual hearing is sharp. I can see and hear better now in the in my spirit than ever before. Beautiful, young, and then one John one seven. One John one seven. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. If you walk under the blood, apply the blood in confession, repentance and changing, God says, you are becoming actually more and more chaste. A beautiful, young, chaste, virgin I want to present to Christ Jesus, says Paul. The very Paul who is saying is part of the bride. Absolutely sure. Second Timothy chapter 4, 7 and we will close. Paul, an old man in the eyes of man, a young bride in the eyes of Christ. And verse, and verse 8. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness. What is the crown? Is this a king? When Esther walks into the king's presence later as queen, what does she do? He holds up the scepter towards her. What is the scepter of this king? The scepter of his kingdom is righteousness. So if you are getting the crown of righteousness, you are the bride. 
మరి దండలు మీరు గమనించినట్లయితే న్యాయమైన జనరి మరి మీరు దీనిలో ప్రవేశించి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఈ నీతికి రెండు తరలించుకోవాల్సి ఉన్నది ఈ సిస్ ఆన్ దట్ ఐ యామ్ షూర్ ఐ ఐ మేడ్ ఇట్ ఆ దినమున ఐ నాట్ నే కాక నిశ్చేత ఉన్నది నేను ప్రవేశించాను నాన్ని నేను పొందుకున్నాను అని సిస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ మీ నేను మాత్రమే కాదు బట్ టు ఎనీబడి మరి ఆల్సో టు ఆల్ మరి అందరికీ కూడా అది దయపడుతున్నది హు హావ్ లవ్డ్ ఎవరైతే on that day not only me but everyone is looking forward to his appearing is also prepared is also preparing all those who are waiting for his appearing is also preparing to meet him this is rebecca shall we wait 10 days what did she say no tomorrow Have you seen Isaac? No. But that's my destiny. I haven't seen him, but I want to be with him. Do you know how long this journey is? Sister Rebecca, have you ever traveled 600 miles on camelback? My sister Rebecca, no, I want to be with you. No. Do you know it's very hard? తెలుసానికి చాలా కష్టమైన ప్రయాణము ఐ హ్ వర్డ్ యూ స్టిల్ వాంట్ టు హరి ఐ నేను వెళ్ళాలని కోరుచున్నావా తొందర పడుచున్నావా ఎస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు హరి అవును నేను తొందర పడుచున్నాను ఇట్ మే టేక్ 6 మంత్స్ ఆర్ నెల్ పట్టొచ్చు వాట్ విల్ యు డు డ్యూరింగ్ ది 6 మంత్స్ ఆర్ నెల్ నువ్వు ఏం చేస్తావు ఐ లాస్ ఏరియాస్ అబౌట్ ఐసో ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ ఆఫ్ టు రీచ్ ఏరియాస్ అండ్ ఐ నీడ్ టు రిస్క్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ జర్నీ ఫ్రమ్ ఏరియాస్ అండ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు నో ఎవరీథింగ్ అబౌట్ ఐ ఈ యాత్రలో నేను మరి ఏరియాస్ ద్వారా మరి ఇస్సాక్ గురించి సమస్తమును ఎరగబోర్చున్నాను బట్ హి వాస్ देयर when he was born ఎందుకంటే ఆయన జన్మించినప్పుడు ఆయన ఉన్నాడు హి వాస్ देयर ఆల్ దోస్ 40 ఇయర్స్ ఆ నరవై సంవత్సరాలు తనకు పట్టున్నాడు ఆఫ్టర్ ఏబ్రహం ద వన్ హు నోస్ ఐసక్ బెస్ట్ ఇస్ దేర్ యా అయితే అబ్రహం తర్వాత ఇస్సాక్ గురించి తెలుసుకున్నటువంటి ఎవరైతే కూగా మరి ఈ ఏరియాస్ రే ఉన్నాడు ఐ వాంట్ టు నో everything about us i think i is a good samasun na telusukuna gorchu na she has been hearing mari ala vinchunadi the journey is almost over yatra muginchipothunadi and then one day marukana dinamana she has elias elias na digindi is that man apurushudu evaru ani elias says elias annadu your lord new has been probably a chamaru ani how did she know how did she know how did she know i mean that is she has only heard about it i don't know which kind of video that i she only heard about it i mean which i don't which kind of video that is like job said you gonna to god lord earlier i had only heard about you but But when you brought me through this fire now my eyes have seen the god of the universe can of video now i tell you your abhidwara nu nan chusukona vachinappudu ipudu na kanu danni nenu chusuchunadi ani this journey of hardship and suffering has refined my eyes i can recognize my lord yoga shrama yoga samasyalu anadanti yatra నా కనులకు ఇంకను మరుగుతారని దయచేసి నా యొక్క ప్రభుని నా యొక్క రక్షణ నేను చూడగలుగుతున్నాను ఇమిడియట్లీ షీ గెట్స్ డౌన్ వెల్ వెంటనే ఆమె వంట దిగింది షీ కవర్స్ హర్ ఫేస్ తన ముఖముని ఆమె ముసుకుందేసుకున్నది ఐ సబ్ టేక్స్ ఐ ఐ సబ్ టేక్ యు రెబెకా హస్ మై డ్యూలీ వెడెడ్ వైఫ్ మరి నేను ఇస్రాకు మరి నా ఎవెంకారు నా యొక్క పెళ్లి చేసుకున్నటువంటి నా యొక్క భార్య దానిలో మరి ఈ చేస్తున్నాను పిక్చర్స్ ఇన్ ది బైబిల్ all being given there because god wants to make a bride out of us ivani kuda mana dwara devudu tana koraku yesu prabhu koraku oka vadu siddha marchalani manaki ichi unnaru not just save us ane kevalu marchinchabadinu kadu save us to the uttermost aithe antham varuku kuda mana rakshinchadu 
Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, this evening, as we are here in your presence, oh Father, as we hear, our hearts are excited. We also know the walk is difficult. And the only way possible for this walk for us to finish this walk is if you consume our hearts for the love for Christ. Because your word says that love never fails. Fill our hearts with love for Christ. The God never fails and that love never fails. Keep us close to you, Lord. Strengthen us each day to finish this journey. So that we one day may be counted as the bride of your son. Thank you, Father. As we go through the last week of this month, we just thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness through this eighth month. Next Sunday when we come here, it will be another month. And we know you will take us through. As the God who called us out is faithful. And is compassionate towards his people. Help us to be faithful towards you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Just bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with each one of us. Amen.